continue. It is necessary to um, it is necessary to mention particularly uh, one thing, right? So, so not not in general, right? But uh, but uh, specific things. Instead of merely confessing I sinned, right? As people know, okay, I I uh, I'm very sorry about my previous. No, it's not going to fly this thing, right? I sin. The person must mention the particular sin. He, uh, he committed and asked forgiveness for it. So we, we go we go in sin by sin. That's exactly what we say do to Shua every day. Why? Because today, I mean, uh, without short memories, so I'm, I I don't remember what what I did yesterday. Maybe I wronged somebody yesterday, or I did uh, or did not do whatever I was supposed to do yesterday. But uh, but at least today, I I remember what I did or did not do. Right. So uh, there is a higher uh, higher chance to do to Shua. Right. So one more time, instead of merely confessing I sin, person must mention the particular sin uh, commit, uh, committed and ask forgiveness for it. Thus, in this description of the mitzvah of confession, in chapter 1, Halakha 1, Rambam adds the phrase, I committed iniquity before you by doing the following. So as we said before, I think in the commentary that uh, this, uh, th this was uh, Rambam's tradition, I think, Right, so to, 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 to the verse on the Talmud, so uh, as, uh, I did the following. Okay. So one more time, the whole sentence. Rabbi. Yes. But uh, for Bene, for their abundance, you don't have to be specific, do you? No, you have to be specific. Actually, in my previous class, it's very interesting that, that, we, that we mentioned. So uh, basically, all, all of these uh, things that, that we say about the Rabbanan, right? So it's actually... Uh, we, 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 we derive from the verse, right? So Hashem said, build the, the fences, right? To protect my Torah. So when Hashem said, protect my Torah, it's uh, our rabbis uh, understood from the oral tradition. So they have obligation to put the fences around the Torah, mm -hmm. right? So all of this, uh, all of this rabbinical, it's actually what they derive from biblical, from the biblical verse. So biblical commandment for a rabbi is to put the fences. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah. You understand, women? So, so when somebody goes against the rabbis, right, without their permission, right? So the way when he goes against the rabbis, he goes against the rabbis and against the Torah. So basically, it's double avera. One is rabbinical, let's say, and one is a biblical. So not not a good idea to go against the rabbinical. So unless the rabbinical said, okay, the, uh, that's what we said, there is a fence around the Torah. But in this in this situation, we give you permission not to do it, do it a different and stuff like that. So only they can permit us uh, not to do whatever, whatever they say. Okay, go ahead. So because of this, what's it called? If I just say, uh, you know, talk, when they're doing Takhan or whatever, uh, for going against the rabbis, right? I'm sorry for going against the rabbis. Okay, that's the confession. You know, the general idea, right? So, but I don't have to say, I'm sorry for not uh, washing my hands like this, like the rabbi said, I don't have to say all those, you know, because there are many, many abundance to say tshuva for all of them is very difficult. No, 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 but, but uh, Rambam is very clear, you, you do a uh, particular. So when, 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 when you don't bundle them, that's the way I see it, right? That when you don't bundle them, when, when you do it one by one, you will feel regret. You, you understand? Well, but but when, 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 when you go into, through the list, Right? Like uh, in some shul, they have a list of sick people, and this poor gabai you have to. I mean, people sometimes they, they forget to tell them to, to take the people off, and there are 60 people, and everybody wants to go home, and now he has to read very fast. It's like a, it's, a, it's a freak show. The, the, the way he started reading, it's very fast. And it's like, I don't know, he means pronouns and stuff like that. So, but uh, th that's not what we do. It's a, it's a gabai that that's what he, he does, but we don't do that. I say, okay, I did not wash my hands properly in the morning. I forgot this. Uh, I, I start uh, do, doing whatever I do without uh, putting my, uh, you know, like talus first, right? So for all of these things, since you have to confess separately, right? Oh. Because uh, you, you, you cannot bundle them. Uh, it's, it's in same, same as, as we said before, the, the punishment will be separate. For all of the awareness, separate. It's not never bundled. But with what you're saying, it kind of sounds like saying the vidui means nothing because that's not that's not uh, specific at all. That's very very general. So I could say the vidui? same. 
Ah, yeah. vidui is, a, is, a, is a, the, the only biblical uh, biblical obligation. So, uh, right? <laughs> so, as we said, the vidui is a biblical obligation. Of course, I mean, uh, the, the person has to has to mean whatever he says as much as he can. But uh, that's it. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. But over here, when Rambam says particular, perhaps he means particular, like you have to name the vera, okay, like stealing. Not you stole from this person and that person, so on and so forth. Stealing. Also, of course, no, it's it's a separate act of stealing. Like in a, in a, in, a, in like, like when you go to court, as uh, yeah, as a shop, right? So so they have they have all the different uh, different cases about this. Uh, he stole from this five dollars and. He, the, this person he wrong for one thousand dollars. So different cases. They don't bundle. No, no, he's a thief. No, no, he's a thief, and he's a separate cases. Same, same is with Zaveras. We have to go one by one. All right. Let's uh, okay. So let's try to finish. Almost done. Uh, so one more time the whole sentence uh, before we forgot. So it, it it says it is necessary to to mention particularly. One sins, okay. As evident, uh, so okay, so as evident uh, from uh, Moshe confession in Exodus uh, 20, uh, 32 31, I appeal to you. Okay, so let's see. Uh, it's, it's it's actually what we just discussed, but let, let's see. Uh, Yoma 86b records the debate on this issue between Rabbi Yehuda Ben Baba, whose opinion is accepted by Rambam, right, and Rabbi Akiva who does not require each sin to be cited individually. Okay, okay. as we said, right? So to, to opinion, okay. So, but of course we go by uh, Rambam because uh, he, uh, he tells us what uh, what Gimara meant. Okay, um, that's of course uh, in Gitin 35b, explain the difference between these opinions. A person will become very embarrassed through, uh, through specifically mentioning each sin he committed. So, but uh, uh, just my own addition, as we said, you, you do it privately. Okay, you, you you become very embarrassed. Very good for us. I mean, uh, for, for for me, if I did a sin and I, and I got very embarrassed, so it's like an insurance. Maybe I'm not going to do it again so quickly. Right? So I think it's good to get embarrassed. This shame will motivate him to more complete uh, uh, complete the, the heartfelt to show. Okay. So as we said. So the, this shame, like uh, from uh, like uh, from all of the individual sin, will motivate him to more complete and heartfelt sure. On another hand, his confession of his many sins will raise questions as to whether he has violated uh, other transgressions as well. <laughs> so I mean, uh, I'm, I'm not sure. Like, okay. So I'm I'm not sure if if it is a problem with, with the statement, right? So so he 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 mentioned all of this, all of this. And then they say, maybe I violated some other thing since. Okay. Rabbi Yehuda ben Baba considered the question immediately at hand and um, intensely, uh, and in, in intense, uh, in the, the, the intensity of the shua, or person to shua, as the most important and doesn't require particular mention of each sin. Meaning, uh, don't, don't think about the, the, this uh, awareness that you did uh, 10 years ago. So, Sin right now at hand. So work, work with whatever you have right, right now, right? Maybe Akiva is more concerned with the possibility of future difficulties uh, and the difficulties and hands. Consider general confession as sufficient. Okay. So Rabbi Akiva said, no. Okay, uh, is more, more concerned with possibility of future difficulties. I mean, uh, there's, there's no explanation, so it's hard to, to understand what future difficulties, but, um, but okay, but that, that's what he said. Though the Rambam accept Rabbi Yehuda ben uh, Baba's opinion, many other authorities, including Rabbi Yitzchak Alfasi and Rabbeinu Asher, follow Rabbi Asakiva's opinion, right? Meaning that you, uh, that you, you can uh, confess in general, right? According to the latter opinion, is accepted the Salah and Sholchan Aruch, or Achaim 6 or 7, that um, <clears throat> the alphabetical confession prayer uh, as al Hayt was instituted to include the particular mention of all possible sins. Okay, so uh, that, that's what we, have, uh, we say in uh, Yom, Yom Kippur, right? 
so all these uh, things so in uh, so the person so basically <laughs> rabbis they just give us lists they say say everything so for sure so in the, when when they say the list uh, from from uh, from a to z so most likely you're not going to 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 miss anything but in in Hilchas uh, in Hilchas uh, Yom Yom Kippur that they say if if your if your um, sin is not there so I mean people do all the crazy things so just just mention it quietly so all others maybe do like out loud right uh, but uh, but this uh, do like quietly all right. So over here, it seems like what's it called? Just mentioning generally, but somewhat specifically is okay, right? Yeah. So so yeah, that's what they say about Yom Kippur. So we go like, we go the middle of the road, mm -hmm. right? But, so, so since, since as, I mean we have to understand Rabbi Akiva also, right? So it, it is impossible for a person to to remember all of his sins. So if he remembers, of course, he must go by the Rambo. But the other things, like he does not remember, but he feels sorry. I mean, he goes he goes by Rabbi Akiva. But on Yom Kippur, of course, I mean, person's mind. I mean, I, I just, when, every time when I look at the Magzer, I cannot believe they'd be going to finish it one day. I Like for all of these years, I said, it, it is impossible. Me personally, I'm going to get stuck on page number two. And somehow you you finish right, but but your mind is or at least my mind is cloudy. It's like so much reading, so much going on. Like uh, it's too entire and can't be in this and that. So that's why uh, our sages provide us with a list of all of the possible uh, averas. And like you read this averas, like Are you serious? Me? Like I'm I'm not that that bad. Like uh, who, who who do you think the, I am that I'm going to read all these things? But we read all of these things. What's it called? Uh, on, on someone's own, not on Yom Kippur. If he just mentions like the particular sins mentioned in the Yom Kippur prayer, right? By on his own, in his own words, for example. That still mm -hmm. counts as a confession and shuvah? Yes, 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 okay. yes, yes, yes. Okay. So if he says, I ate non-kosher and so on, let's say something like that. And uh, I, 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 I tell you what, there, there, there is, um, um, there is this, uh, where was it? I, I don't know, say, um, it's not halach, I don't know. The, there's a custom. Well, let's put it this way, right? There, there, there is a custom that is called, I'm, I'm sure that, that you heard, all of you heard the Yom Kippur cotton. So it's a small Yom Kippur, right? And we do before Rosh Kodesh. So, and that uh, in Yom Kippur cotton, we, we say this long, uh, long video. Basically, so many people, many, many people like, uh, I mean, when they, uh, I know uh, at least one of my Havrus accepted up on himself many years ago, and that, that he's very, very particular about this Yom Kippur cotton, and he, he always uh, goes to a uh, special minion, of course, you need a special minion, it's, uh, it's uh, during the, the, the Mincha services, right? So he always goes there, and uh, so people they, they don't don't rely on the wait until Yom Kippur. They're trying to to cleanse themselves every every month. You understand? So, so that's uh, our custom. So he doesn't have to mention every time he ate at McDonald's, right? Just no, say no, 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 no. One time is enough. So one time is enough, and as as we have uh, as, as as we said, so and he he is not not to do it again. That's enough. So otherwise, it's uh, as I was just explained. That's what it's a it's a hard one. He constantly reminds, yeah, yeah, okay, maybe oh, you 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 learn the Talmud now, mm -hmm. big tzaddik. But uh, you know what? Uh, but you remember you you learned uh, you 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 ate in the McDonald's. Okay, I did the show. Stop it. Leave me alone. So yeah, actually, the outside just said you're not allowed to to think about it again because even the things. So even the the things uh, be discussed to you. Right, but uh, when you think uh, of them over and over, so they might uh, uh, seem not to discuss it after some time. Right? So let's try to finish up. Last sentence. It says that people have committed terrible sins by making idol uh, golden night. So that's uh, how Moshe, he was very specific about the sin. In commentary say here, uh, Moshe specifically mentioned the sin committed by the people. Now, not in general that they're not such a good... Uh, uh, people, but uh, he said specifically about uh, what they did. Okay, so we can stop here.